APG is the today's topic. Students, do you know what is APG? APG means angiosperm phylogeny group. It is the one of the recent classification and a modern classification. You know very well about lot of classifications. Example, artificial, Benjamin Hooker is a natural classification. There are so many phylogenetic classification. But APG is a, a classification accepted by the most of the taxonomists around the world. It is a modern classification based on phylogenetic. So what is phylogenetic? It is based on evolutionary order. Another important basic concept of APG is monopilotic group. Students, what is monopilotic? It is one of the clade taxa which includes, comprises all the descendants of the common ancestor that is called monopilotic. Mono means single. All the descendants comes from the a common ancestor that is called monopilotic. Here, APG, monocots is a monopilotic. That is why the monocots, the same term is retained. Then, dicots. Earlier classification, we used the term dicots. Now, the dicot term is not utilized, used for this classification because dicots are polypilotic. That is why the term now it is changed to eudicots. So eudicot is a monopilotic. Then what about the remaining uh, plants? The remaining plants which are grouped as a early angiosperm. So that is why in this APG classifications there are three important clades. One is early angiosperm is a parapilotic, second one is monocots and the third one is a eudicots. So I already said monocots and eudicots are monopilotic and the early angiosperms are parapilotic. Students, what is parapilotic? Taxa which include all the ancestor but not all the descendants of that ancestor. So that is why it is called a parapilotic. So early angiosperms are parapilotic. You know very well all these classifications, there are so many classifications. Why we included APG in this 11th standard? Students, we all should be updated to the current knowledge because all over the world APG is a classification used by the taxonomist. So we also updated regarding the taxonomy, the APG classification. Why the APG is more important? Because in most of the herbarium institutions and the taxonomists are using APG. That is why the APG classification is included in the 11th standard. Okay. The APG, I said the three clades. Let us see one by one. First one is the early angiosperms. Early angiosperm, which include eight orders and 26 families, 8 orders and 26 families. 
here there are three important clades. So, what are the, these three clades? First one is a ANA grade. So, what is ANA? ANA is a abbreviated form. A stands for amber alleles. N stands for nymphials. And a, another A stands for astropileals. It is a one group. Then second group, magnolids is the second group. And the third group is the chloranthales. So, these are the three clades. So, ANA grade, magnolids and chloranthales. So, this is the first clade, early angiosperms. Now, let us see the second clade. The second clade is the monocots. In monocots, it is uh, divided into three important clades. First one is the uh, basal monocots, and the second one is the uh, lilioids, and the third one is the uh, camelinids. These are the three important clades in monocots. Finally, the third one, third group, is the uh, eudicots. You know very well what is U. U stands for a true. Is a real dicots. Real dicots mean here there are two cotyledon. Another important point which consists of a tricolpate pollen grain. The pollen grain is a tricolpate. It is an important point. Differentiate U dicots. U dicots divided into how many families and uh, orders. The number of orders in new dicot is a 45 orders and the number of families 313 families. So, totally how many orders and how many families mean 64 orders and 416 families. Students, why we changed to APG? You know, there is a famous quote says, the word change never change, remaining everything will change. The change word only never change. That is why the APG also there are four versions. So, version 1 it is released in the year 1998, version 2 is released in the year 2003. And version 3 released in the year 2009, version 4 is released in the year 2016. So, which one is the updated version? So, fourth one is a recent modern version, it is released in the year 2016. You know, APG is based on phylogenetic. Where are we getting the data for the phylogenetic? classification. The information is received from many fields, for example, morphology, anatomy and embryology, cariology, phytochemistry, also molecular data. What is molecular data? It is based on DNA sequence. The DNA sequence is a gene. There are two important genes from the chloroplast used for this purpose. That is ATPB is the one gene. The next one is a RBCL. These two genes present in chloroplast. So, these genes, these informations, genetic information used for the APG. Then another one nuclear gene is a nuclear ribosomal 18 s yes, DNA is a used for APG. It is a one gene. So, these genetic informations used for the APG. Okay. Next, how the APG, the places where the APG used? APG used in most of the herbarias of the world including uh, London Kew Garden. 
the photographic survey of the plants of USA and Canada is updated to the APG. So, Q also updated to the APG and USA and Canada plants are updated to the APG. Then, the flora of British Isles written by Stace that is also updated to the APG. Some of the important plant families also updated to the APG. Okay, next the early angiosperms, two cotyledon, monosulcate pollen grain, and the presence of ethereal oil. Perianth. Actually, the perianth is a, a character of a monocot. Now, the perianth is a character of a, also a character of early angiosperm, is a trimerous. So, early angiosperm have the characters of both dicots and monocots. And the pollen grain character is very important character, is the monosulcate pollen grain. Another important feature is the nectaries. The nectaries are very rare. And another important feature, embryo is very small when compared to monocots. So, these are the characteristic features of uh, early angiosperms. Next, let us see the characteristic features of monocots. So, you know monocots, single cotyledon, the cotyledon is a single cotyledon, parallel venation, the venation is type is a parallel venation, trimerous flowers and another important character is a monosulcate pollen grain and the cambium is absent that is why it is a mostly herbaceous. The vascular mandal is it is a closed type and arranged a scattered in manner. So, these are the some of the characteristic features of monocots. Next, the characteristic features of eudicots. So, eudicots, the number of cotyledon, two cotyledon, ethereal oil rarely present. And the venation type is a reticulate venation. And the flower, the type of flower is either it may be a di dimerous or tetramerous or pentamerous. Here it is a maybe a woody or herbaceous because cambium is present. And the vascular bundle is, is open type and arranged in the form of ring, the pollen grain. The pollen grain is a tricolpate. The tricolpate pollen grain is a characteristic feature of eudicot. Let us see the systematic position of Fabaceae. So, in Fabaceae, systematic position, kingdom, plant A, clade, angiosperm, clade, eudicot, and clade, rose seeds. Order Fabales and family Fabaceae. You can note one point here above the order, the term clade is used when compared to previous uh, classification. The term clade is used above the level of order. Okay. What are the merits of APG? APG is a phylogenetic uh, classification. So, we can identify the evolutionary order. Then, the many families, uncertain families are placed in this APG. It is another interesting merits of uh, APG. It is based on monopilotic. So, there is a link between many groups. From the link, we can understand the relationship between the plants. APG, we changed our understanding of uh, classification of plants. Why our understanding of taxonomy is changed because of APG? APG based on monopilotic, so that is why we use the term monocots, the term is retained. 
What about for the dicot? Dicot is a polypyletic. So, that is why the term dicot is outdated. And Liliaceae is split into 14 families. And E4BAC split into 3 families. Earlier, Philanthus is a genus. Now, Philanthus separated. It becomes a family now, Philanthaceae. Asclepiatase and Apocenaceae both are merged into single family. So, these are the changes in APG.